rarely an occasion comes in the life journey of a nation when it can show its cultural might to the entire world. Now that moment has arrived for India in form of G20. And for more on this, I'm Minister of State for Culture, Minakshi Lekhiji. Ma'am, thank you for thank speaking you. with us. Uh, Ma'am, I'll begin you uh, by asking that how important G20 is and uh, how are we going to stun our, uh, our foreign guests this time around? So I must say that uh, G20 is uh, a set of uh, or a group of uh, uh, countries uh, which uh, hold about 85% of the world's GDP and uh, close to 65% of uh, the world's uh, uh, commerce and trade uh, and uh, about 60% of the world's population, less than 60%, 4.6 billion people. So uh, that is the strength you're dealing with in this particular grouping. And uh, when you're dealing with uh, this strength, India needs to up its game, showcase mm. Brand India. And Brand India would be incomplete without showcasing the culture uh, of this country, uh, the unified forces, and yet every expression is different. But you can see, if we are worshipping uh, Ma Saraswati, all dance forms will be worshipping Ma Saraswati, whether it's Kuchipudi or it's Kathak or it's Bharat Natyan or Odissi, every form. So uh, the concepts remain the same, the expression changes, and that's the beauty of this nation. Um, you can see here, this is a folk art form, which is Madhubani, mm -hmm. and the clay bells, which are done uh, when we talk about sustainable development. So one is a living heritage mm -hmm. in the form of a folk art. The other is uh, expression, a very modernized expression of an ancient uh, pottery format. This particular woodcraft, which you can see, uh, comes from um, uh, Ladakh and could be from Sikkim also. Actually, it's an upper Himalayan region, uh, which is more in the nature of uh, Tipton craft. So this is this is how. Are you handpicking, uh, you know, objects and artifacts to showcase our culture? Because you, you know, we come from uh, from a very long time of period, five thousand years old. I, I, so, so how are we going to deal with this? And what are going to uh, you know, showcase how we're going to uh, put things on on global scale. So I must say that uh, uh, we have a plenty. We we have a plenty of artifact, and thus we have a problem of a plenty. So it's very difficult to choose one over the other. Yeah. But interesting enough, what we have done is, mm -hmm. uh, can I take you in for a minute? Please, so uh, you just see these beautiful temples. Uh, this is a particular temple which we have sent for uh, nomination this year. Uh, this is a Hoysala temple. Mm -hmm. This is Chandakeshwa temple. So one of the uh, three temples which India has sent. Uh, and this is 12th and 13th century AD. Uh, this is another panel uh, from Elora. Uh, okay. Stonecraft, can you see the detailing in which this work has been done? This is uh, Someshwara temple. Again, uh, Hoysala period, 12th century. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, Papanasha temple uh, uh, from Karnataka. Uh, same, same. Same, uh, yeah. So, so this is, the, these are uh, the craft art forms which for millions of years, thousands of years have existed in this country. Uh, and as I talked about outside, that woodcraft. Mm -hmm. This is from the same region. Uh, uh, though this is Asiatic Society of Kolkata, this is a copy of an original piece. Mm -hmm. But Himalayan art, okay. Buddhist art form, this is a mandala from the same Sri Yantra uh, mm -hmm. uh, man mandala. But, but interestingly, we're not talking about just our heritage. We're no. talking about shared heritage. Shared and heritage. And for that, we have uh, also uh, curated this cultural corridor. That's right. Second floor, Bharat That's Mandipam. Right. So I must tell you that um, a, a democracy mm. is a force with which we all in unite and everybody is understood after studying uh, various forms of governance that maybe democracy is the best form compared to others. Mm. It's not without its difficulties, but it is still considered a better form of governance. And in this, uh, I must say, India is the mother of democracy. Mm. And uh, the heritage which is showcased and talked about in Vaishali uh, to even earlier period than Vaishali. 
So the oldest period uh, uh, the history recognizes is Vedic period. Mm -hmm. So in, during Vedic period, the rituals of uh, Rig Veda talk about uh, the seat of Raja. Seat of Raja was not a hereditary proposition. Okay. He, Ra Raja was basically a seat and that seat was covered or, or was taken by an elected person, almost like a prime minister. Like modern times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pre you call it president, you call it prime minister, but, but it was an uh, elected body. Mm -hmm. And because it was an elected body, uh, this is a brass... Reminds me of uh, a very similar thing, and that is Nataraja statue that yeah, you yeah, saw yeah, yeah, yeah. World's so, largest? Uh, yes, I can show you the other Nataraja statue mm -hmm, which please, we huh? have here. So the Traja statue uh, which is being installed at Bharat Mandapam is one of its kind. Mm -hmm. uh, you would know that even in Switzerland, uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, 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 I'm not getting, I'm not remembering the name, but where we have this reactor, the, uh, the cosmic dance mm -hmm. has been showcased by uh, Nataraj. And that statue is uh, symbolically present there. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in India, the tallest statue of Nataraj, which is 28, 29 feet tall, mm -hmm. is going to be installed at Bharat Mandapam. And uh, with that, I take you back to our heritage and that heritage of uh, Chola bronzes. Mm -hmm. So Chola bronzes, now this is done out of uh, the bamboo and uh, this depicts the craft of uh, bamboo uh, and craft making of bamboo uh, stems. Can you imagine? All this is done by uh, hands in uh, one part of the country no, no, and Sampada. This actually reminds me of sustainable development Absolutely, goals. absolutely and, actually, and using the material. So how Indians have been living in harmony with environment. Nature and environment. See this, Bharat Muni. Now, when we talk about dance and music and plays and craft, Bharat Muni wrote Natya Shastra. Mm -hmm. And treatise on Natya Shastra was written by Abhinav Gupta in 4th century AD, or 2nd century AD. So the time frame is first 1 BC to 2nd century AD. That's the time frame we are talking about. So, uh, and if you read the details, you will be surprised to learn. And I'm so glad we are standing here. Uh, it talks about uh, the cost of production, mm -hmm. the lights mm -hmm. which the stage is going to need, artists, makeup, dresses, uh, playwriting, all this is discussed at that point in time. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we do not know adequately about our own heritage. So some of the Natya Shastra originals are lying somewhere else. Uh, sometimes we have access, sometimes. See the masks from various parts of the country. Uh, the, the, the real beautiful handcrafted things. Uh, we can start from here. See? This is uh, from Sri Lanka, China, India. Shared heritage. Shared heritage. Shared heritage and commonality. See this and entire that's the name region. Of, uh, G20, no, but this entire region, we were there, we were influencing Bhutan, uh, Marich, uh, India, Sri Lanka, uh, North Korea, uh, Ganeshi, uh, Gambhir Mask, uh, so uh, Angad, I mean, so on and so forth. So, so it, Italian mask, living heritage, the Damino, <laughs> yeah, Mexican, uh, Indonesian, Nepal.